Our other top story at this hour, the Washtenaw County Sheriff declares a state of emergency inside the county jail. And that declaration comes amid concerns over unacceptably low staffing levels inside the lockup and says they've been like that for quite some time. Larry Spruill live at the jail tonight. And Larry, we know you spoke to the sheriff and this is a big issue. Good evening, Sandra and Devin. A big issue indeed. As a matter of fact, the sheriff says that he wants to be at full staff ASAP, but he does not see that happening. Now, this is what he's facing. When it comes to normal staffing levels, it's about 8 to 10 percent. He starts to worry a little bit when it gets to 12 to 15 percent. As of right now, the current staffing level here at the jail is 23 percent. Things look to be business as normal outside the Washtenaw County Jail, but Local 4 found now it's anything but that on the inside. So we're at critical staffing levels right now that we don't anticipate getting out of anytime soon. Washtenaw County Sheriff Jerry Clayton tells me that's why he is declaring a state of emergency at the prison. They need more qualified employees and they need them right now. Normally we'd like to be at 8 to 10% vacancies, 12% uh, to 15, we start to get uh, very concerned. Currently, they're at 23%. But hiring qualified staff continues to be a challenge. So we're at a, we're at a, we're at a point where uh, we can anticipate through the summer, through vacations and retirements, where our staffing's not going to get any better. Sheriff Clayton says he could shut down the jail and operate at a minimal staffing levels, but in his mind, that only presents a bigger challenge over time. That's why hiring is top priority right now, especially as summer is just right around the corner. So how we have framed it is that we anticipate if we maintain the status quo and we don't do anything different, that come summertime, we'll have a state of emergency as And so the sheriff tells me that he stands by his decision to declare a state of emergency. Now, he says there are no issues when it comes to safety inside the prison, but he wants to get out there and be proactive. We're live in Washington County tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4. And we know the sheriff mentioned summer. Larry, if they can't fill those openings by summer, what are the other options? Well, Sandra, the sheriff says the only other option is to have his staff and his officers work overtime. And if a push comes to shove, he will have to decline any summer vacations as well. But he says he does not want to do that. Sandra. All right. Thank you, Larry.